Hello everyone, welcome to Foxtech again. This time we talk about the iPhone, the live photos, and how you can use them in the in the Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro, as you know, is of course the uh, software for video editing on the Mac. I use it a lot. It's a great software, but how can you use live photos with it? So if I open up the Photos app, you can see I have live photo in here and I can switch it to the basic live photo, hold down on it. It moves all the stuff is going on. Now, the way I would recommend you to do it is to go and do exactly this. So go to the Photos app on your iPhone, locate the live photo and click on the three dots in the upper right corner. And what you can do in here is like copy, duplicate and stuff, but I would recommend you to save it as a video because if you save it as a video, you can see if I swipe in here, it's a regular video. The exact movement from the live photo has been turned into a video. Now, in this case, I can just share it, move it over to my Mac. If I move it through AirDrop or iCloud, whatever it is, I can move it over to my Premiere Pro as a basic video. And in this case, I can perform all the edits that I want. Like live photo compatibility isn't the best obviously when it comes to this. So I would just switch it to video and move it over to Mac and use it inside of the Premiere Pro. There are some other things you should know about it as well. But before that, I need to show you one thing I've been working on, which is this Foxtech educational platform. You can find it linked down below in the description. It is free to join. And inside, you may find the uh, Adobe Rush course, like 100% free video editing course, which uh, teaches you some stuff like you can see, like glitch in camera transition, speed ramp, color grading for the app, Adobe Rush specifically. It's from Adobe as well. So I think you may find it interesting. Go ahead and join. Uh, it's free, of course. So go ahead and click on that right now in the description. Okay. But the other thing you may be interested in is that there are some ways how you can switch it back to a live photo. So let's say that you turned the picture into an actual video. So you have a video right now from the live photo. You move it, move it over to your Mac into Premiere Pro and then you edit it. When you bring it back to the iPhone, there is an option to turn it back into live photo. So that's really cool. Like if I go to the App Store, I've been using this app before because if I go to my profile and go to the purchase section, I'm going to be able to search through it. And when I look up some live photo, you can see a live photo convert. And this app converts basic videos into actual live photos. So the way I would recommend you to do it, the whole process would be to have a live photo, turn it to video, edit it in Premiere Pro, and then bring it back to the live photo state if you want to. So this is something which I've done personally. I know it works and I would recommend you to do it as well. But besides that, I don't think that there is anything else you should really know about it. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up under the video. And there is also going to be the subscribe button. So you can subscribe to Foxtech as well. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out until then.